आई एम संग्राम शिंदे फ्रॉम मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर रिगार्डिंग टू द सोलर एनर्जी इन विच वी हैव टू सी द पी वी सेल सो फोटोवोल्टाइक इज द डायरेक्ट कन्वर्जन ऑफ लाइट इन टू द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एट द एटोमिक लेवल सम मटेरियल मटेरियल्स exhibits a property known as photoelectric effect that causes them to absorb photons of light and release electrons when these free electrons are captured an electric current results that can be used as electricity the photoelectric effect was first noted by a french physicist uh becquerel in 1839 who found that certain material would produce small amount of electric current when exposed to the light in 1905 albert einstein described the nature of the light and the photoelectric effect on which the photovoltaic technology is based for which he later won a nobel prize in physics the fo first photovoltaic module was built in bell uh, laboratories in 1954 today's most common pv device today's most common pv device use a single junction or interface to create an electric field within a semiconductor such as pv cell in single junction pv cell only photons whose energy is equal to or greater than the band gap of the cell material can free an uh, free an electron for an electric circuit in other word the photovoltaic response of single junction cells uh, is limited to the portion of the sun spectrum whose energy is above the band gap of the absorbing material and lower energy photons are not used an atom uh, so we can see here how the silicon form a solar cell an atom of the silicon has 14 electrons arranged in three different shells the first two shells those uh, closest to the center are comple completely full the outer shell however is only half full having only four ele uh, four electrons a silicon atom will always look for a ways to fill up its uh, last shell which would like to have a eight electrons to do this it will share electron uh, with four of its uh, neighbor silicon atoms pure silicon is poor conductor of electricity because none of its electrons are free to move about as electrons are in good conductor such as a copper instead the electrons are all locked in the crystalline structure the silicon in solar cell is modified slightly so that it will be work as a solar cell so what are the modification a solar cell has silicon with impurities other atom mix in uh, with the silicon atoms consider silicon with atom of phosphorus here and there may be a one for every million silicon atoms phosphorus have five electrons in its outer shell not four it still bonds with its silicon neighbor atoms but in sense the phosphorus has one electron that doesn't doesn't have anyone to hold hands with when energy is added to a pure, pure uh, silicon for example in the form of heat it can be cause it, it can be cause a few electron to break free of their bonds and leave their atoms a hole is left behind in each case these electrons then wander randomly around its crystalline lattice looking for another hole to fall in it into these electrons are called free carriers and can carry electricity cur uh, electrical current the process of adding impurities which we can say as a doping and when doped with the phosphorus the resulting silicon is called n type the other part is doped with boron which has only 3 electrons in its outer shell in strop four electrons to become a p uh, p type silicon instead of having free electrons p type silicon has a free holes so you can see on the screen uh, how the pn junction is formed there is also one band gap is there when the holes and electron mix at the junction between n type and p type silicon they do not uh, they do mix and form a barrier making it harder and harder for electrons on the n side to cross the p side this electric field acts as a diode allowing and even pushing electrons to flow from p side to the n side but not the other way around 
it's like a hill electron can easily go down the hill to the n side but can't climb it to a p side each photon with enough energy will be normally free ex uh, exactly one electron and result in free hole as well the field will send the electron to the n side and the hole to the p side the electron flow provides the current and cells electric uh, field causes a voltage with both current and voltage we have power which is produce of two so you can see the photons which is coming from the sun rays and the load is there due to the where did discuss due to the flow of electrons we are getting electricity so this cell we are connecting to the load and due to which we are getting electricity so this is the basic structure of the generic silicon pv cell silicon happens to be a very shiny material which means that it is very reflective photons that are reflected can't be used by the cell for the reason an uh, anti uh, reflective coating is applied to the top of the cell to reduce the reflection losses to less than 5% the final step is glass cover plate that protect the cell from the elements pv modules are made by the connecting several cells usually 36 in series and parallel to achieve useful level of voltage and current and putting them in sturdy frame complete with a glass cover and positive negative terminals on the black uh, back so this is the we already seen a is the cover glass b is the anti reflective coating is required in that case contact grid is required to connection uh, connecting to the load n type silicon and p type silicon and back contact so this is the uh, pv cell we are forming so physics of photovoltaic generation we already seen due to the sun rays somewhat uh, photons are coming from the sun rays it will be give the energy and due to the movement of the electrons will be takes place and this uh, movement of the electrons means a uh, flow of current Photovoltaic uh, or PV cell are made of special material called semiconductor such as silicon which currently the most commonly used. When light strikes the cell, a certain portion of it is absorbed within the semiconductor material. This means that the energy of absorbed light is the transfer to the semiconductor. The energy knocks the electron loses, allowing them to flow freely. Only a certain amount of energy measured in the electron hold EV and defined by our cell material about 1.1 EV for crystalline silicon is required to knock an electron loose. We call this the band gap energy of material. PV cell act as a force electron freed by the light absorption to flow in the certain direction. This flow of electron is currently current and by placing material. This flow of electron is a current and by placing a metal contact on the top and bottom of the PV cell, we can draw the current of external. So you can see the this is the diagram, the sunlights are uh, sunlight is coming on the anti reflective coating. This is the PV cell construction of the PV cell in which sunlight is shown n type electron conductivity p type p layer is also shown np junction is shown back contact is also shown so this is the fully we can say so operation of the solar cell we already seen solar cell are made of same kind of semiconductor material such as silicon used in the microelectronics industry for solar cell a thin semiconductor wafer is specially treated to form a electric field positive on one side and negative on the other when light energy strike the solar cell electrons are knocked loose from the atoms in the semiconductor material if electrical conductors are attached to the positive and negative sides forming an electrical circuit the electrons can be captured in the form of electric current that is electricity this electricity can be used to a power a load such as a light or a tool. A number of solar cells electri uh, electrically connected to each other and mounted in a support structure or a frame is called as a photovoltaic module. So you can see in the figure, the module is shown, the cell, module and array is also shown. 
Modules are designed to supply electricity at a certain voltage such as common 12 volt system. The current produced is directly depend on the how much light strike the module. So these are the somewhat classification which is shown here. This is the PV technology classification, silicon crystalline technology and thin film technology is also there in which the monocrystalline PV cell, multicrystalline PV cell, amorphous silicon PV cell and uh, polycrystalline PV cells are these are this is the classification of PV cell. So you can see what is the monocrystalline silicon. Monocrystalline silicon is made from a very pure monocrystalline silicon. Monocrystalline silicon has a single and continuous crystal lattice structure with practically zero defect or impurities. One of the many reasons monocrystalline silicon is superior to other than silicon cells are they have the higher efficiency which is about 15 percent as compared to the other. So next one is the polycrystalline silicon. In polycrystalline silicon also referred to as poly uh, silicon or poly SI is material consisting of multiple small silicon crystal. The main adv advantage of the polycrystalline silicon over other types of silicon is that mobility can be order orders of magnitude larger and material also shows greater stability under electric field and light induced traces. Silicon crystalline technology you can see current makes up to, up to a 86 percent of PV market. So silicon crystal technology we are using in that very stable with uh, modulated uh, efficiency about 10 to 60 percent. So monocrystalline PV cells made using saw cut from a single crystalline crystal of uh, silicon operating efficiency we already seen it is 15 percent. Multicrystalline PV cell uh, cast from the ignorance of melted and recrystalline silicon cell efficiency is 12 percent is less than the monocrystalline account of 90 percent of the crystalline uh, silicon market nowadays uh, multicrystalline uh, PV cell we are using in the market. This is the thin film silicon deposited in the continuous on a base material such as glass metal or polymers. Thin film crystalline solar cell consists of layers about 10 micron thick compared with the 200 and 300 micron layer for a crystalline silicon cell. So low cost substrate and fabrication process. So no very uh, it is not it is a disadvantage we can see it is no uh, not very stable. So amorphous silicon PV cell it is one uh, so the most advantage of this uh, film technology it is a uh, operating efficiency is very less about 6 percent make a makes up uh, about 13 percent of PV market. So what are the advantages we can say major manufacturing technology available and what are the design initial 20 to 40 percent loss in the efficiency. So polycrystal and PV cell you can see in the diagram also copper indium uh, design uh, we are using CIS we can say it is. So uh, with a band gap of 1 EV high absorption coefficient of 10 raised to 5 uh, centimeter raised to minus 1 high efficiency levels. So what are the advantages 18 percent laboratory efficiency is there and uh, uh, less 11 percent module efficiency. So immature manufacturing process this is the disadvantage we can say and slow vacuum process. So polycrystal and PV cell you can see in the diagram also it is a cadmium tellurate unlike most other uh, second and uh, last materials. So cadmium tellurate uh, exhibit direct band gap of 1.4 EV and high absorption efficiency. So what are the advantages we can say 60 percent laboratory efficiency 6 to 9 uh, percent module efficiency and uh, this the disadvantage will be immature manufacturing process okay. So this is regarding to the uh, all the PV cell how they are working thank you.